break up there. Big break down here. That's the one that hit the building. Yeah. We've got a break over here. And everything is so heavily laden. These are the black oaks, Quercus guy, and they are very, very susceptible to breakage during dry periods. Yes. And we have got. That's what I. That's what I said. One, two, three, plus this one back here, which has a break in it. Four trees to deal with. So the madrones never. Never seen the madrones aren't as big a problem. The Doug fir is not as big a problem. And, there's a and you've got a big maple over there. Big maple here. And a maple, which is not much of a problem. So that out there is very likely on the verge of snapping too, as well. Yeah. And there's nothing really good to tie into. If you tied in over here, the ropes would be straight across. Nothing up above. Nothing the up high. Is that strong. Ah, we can't get any equipment in here. There's no access. Can't get a bucket truck down here. We could get a bobcat down there, and that would be good for loading wood. But I can't get any lifting equipment. Can't get a crane in here. Too many trees in the way if I got it up here. So the only option is to climb that monster. I think we'd still have to tie in over here somewhere so we'd have... One, yep. one sort of a backup, but boy, I think it'd be lots and lots and lots of little tiny cuts until we get four or five hundred pounds off, well, and then at that point, then it'll feel a anyway. lot safer. This is going to be a tough job. I don't know, guy. This is a tough one. It hit over there and slid all the way down. You see the top of this tree over here got scraped pretty good. And that damaged the bark. What I'm looking for, which really doesn't show itself in a tree like this, I'm looking for any evidence of cracks, cracking, or anything that appears to be a weakness. That one right there, you can look at the limb that's on the ground or on the, the building, yeah. and you can see how it fractured. And if you look at the high point of the fracture, there's like a little crack line that kind of goes across. Oh, yeah. So those little cracks... Just at the top of it. Yeah, what you, get, what you get is you get, get little cracks that kind of go across the very, very top of, of the limb. So what I'm looking for is anything that would obvious up the there. But with all the moss on there, yeah. you really can't tell. It could be weak. My guess is... If that's going to break up there, it's going to break about five feet above this break. Do you see where the, the limb yeah, goes up I'm, and it takes a slight bend? Yep. That looks like a point of weakness right on there. The, on, the, on the last big branch. Yeah. So if, if that has a weakness like this one did, then any additional weight up there, say you put a couple hundred pound climber up there, bouncing around with the rope, you know, that's going to put more stress on that limb. <laughs> I wish there was something good to tie to. There really isn't. I don't like this job at all, guy. <laughs>